Yeah, everybody, it's Sam back once again, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Nokia E7. I'd like to thank the guys at One World um, Nokia for this. Um, they've sent me this unit to have a play with and obviously do a bit of a review on. So, I jump straight into the unboxing um, and we'll uh, see what it looks like. So, I believe. All this noise. So this is a review unit, so I just thought I'd make that clear. And there's the uh, front of the box. It's got some Nokia stuff at the side. And obviously Nokia E7. Right, so let's have a look into it. Right, and as you can see there's the device straight on top. Right, first impressions by um, Seeing it is it looks very nice and it feels you know, it feels very like a very premium handset um, a little heavy um, but you know it does have you know well, I'll show you in a little bit we'll uh, come back to that in a moment let's just see what you actually get in the box as well so right obviously you get your charger which obviously is a European charger but you just get your normal charger normally you get a Looks like it's a USB, I think this is for the host, so you can use it as a USB host, so you can put like a thumb drive, etc. into it. This one is the mini HDMI to HDMI out, so that's pretty cool. Got some headphones. Look about they're pretty decent headphones. Which they nice, I see four pole jack there. Right, so I like that to be fair, um, the straightness of it. I don't like the ones that kind of bend right. And last but not least, we have the USB to micro USB cable. There we go. Right, so that's enough for the, the contents. Let's get the star of the show. Right, so let's jump into the phone itself. I've run down the quick specifications. The screen is a 4 inch AMOLED screen with a resolution of 360 by 640. The weight of the device is 176 grams, which, as I say, it's, it is pretty substantial, but obviously, you know, I'll, I'll show you a reason for that in just a moment. The phone supports HSDPA and also HSUPA. So you can have up to 10.2 megabytes down and up to 2 megabytes up. It has Wi-Fi BGNN and also has Bluetooth th uh, version 3 with A2DP support. The phone itself has 16 gigabytes of internal memory with 256 megabytes of RAM and also 1 gigabyte ROM. Um, just for you tech heads out there. And it also supports a 680 megahertz ARM 11 processor. Um, so not the fastest in the world. Um, to be fair, it does seem you know very low spec, but it uses the Symbian operating system instead of let's say something like um, Android, Windows Phone, iOS, etc. Now on the back of the device we have a 8 megapixel camera, and we've also got a nice flash on that. That is capable of shooting 720p at 25 frames per second. We'll have a quick look around the device. On the left side of the device you have your um, lock switch turn the screen on and off on the bottom it's completely flush There's nothing there um, apart from a quite a little hole just for the microphone on the right hand side of the device you have your dedicated camera button and also a little slidey button which I'll be honest with you I'm not 100% sure what that is yet I'll um, obviously find out for when I do my full review and I believe that's the yeah, it's the slim uh, the SIM slot is that. So basically it pulls out and you put your SIM card in there. On the top of the device it has a 3.5mm headphone jack and your power power button as well. And just this one little one here, I believe this is where the mini HDMI is. And I'd be correct. And as you can see just next to that it has got a micro USB. So at the front of the then the front of the actual phone itself, it has one menu button, which is just this one here, 
and on, it also has a VGA camera for um, video calling or obviously taking your self portraits. So we'll just put you on really quickly just to see you know what the boot and that's going to look like. So um, as I said I'd like to thank the guys at you know, um, One, One World um, you know, for this. Um, again it's a review in it so it's not a, a true unboxing so to speak but here anyway here we go. So I believe you're going to get the standard Nokia kind of like music when it um, launches up here. Good old Nokia. <laughs> so that's just been my unboxing and have a quick look at the phone. Um, it's the first time I've used Symbian 3. Um, the last Symbian device I had was a Nokia, uh, not a Nokia, a Sony Ericsson P910i. I think that's what it was. With a lot of stylus on the keypad, the keypad of the bottom. Um, and at the time I thought it was great. Obviously the other things have come along. But obviously we'll put it through its paces and we'll see where it goes. I will be doing some detailed videos on it. So if you've got any requests, don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Sam J Pullen. And also leave comments down below. If you've got any um, you know, any suggestions, what you know, what you want me to try on the phone, etc. And I'll uh, do my best to do that for you. So thanks for watching and I shall speak to you in my next video. Cheers.